Hey, this is Neil Brackett, digital marketer at beginningnow.com. And I like to help people who are just starting out and people who have found themselves stuck in their marketing process. If this is your first time here, I'd like to encourage you to hit the subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up, leave me some feedback down in the comment section, and of course, hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss out whenever I leave content on this channel. We're looking at the beginning basic marketing questions. And you can't start your marketing process unless you know and have a good grip on what your offer is. You have to settle on what you want to sell. Are you in the make money uh, niche? Are you in the relationship niche? Are you in the health and wealth niche? Okay. Uh, you want to be able to have an irresistible offer. You want to have a good headline. You want to be able to, you know, if you're in the health and wealth business, you know, you, uh, an example might be how to lose weight without skipping out dessert. If you're in the make money uh, business, you might want to, you know, how to make money online without uh, chasing friends and family members uh, or without having to pick up a phone and call somebody. You have to have a good grip on what you're selling so that you can figure out where you want to sell it and how you want to sell it. You know, there are books out there that have written and there, uh, you know, there have been a lot of gurus out there that tell you you shouldn't go for no, okay? You should, you know, have at least, you know, 50 no's a day or 20 no's a day or 100 no's a week. And if you're not getting enough no's, you're not selling your product uh, as well as you, you know, as often as you need to. Folks, that's bogus. You, this is a sorting business. You need to be able to sort who your buyers are, and you don't need to hang out with the people who are going to give you no's. It's easy to get no's. You go hang out uh, with people who are trying to quit smoking. You know, if if you know if, if you're trying to sell a diet product, okay, uh, or or you're you know if you you go hang out with, with philanthropists if you're trying to show people how to make money. You know, you go hang out with. Uh, <laughs> You, it's easy to find some place where you don't need to be selling your product. What you want to do is you want to go into the groups. You want to find the places to advertise. If you're doing paid traffic or paid advertising, you want to narrow your niche down to the people who are looking for your product. And that's where you start. And then from there, you figure out what your passions are and what your twist on it and why people should buy from you instead of the next guy. So you go from uh, finding people who want to make money without talking with people on the phone or without offending their friends and family that are retired educators or retired nurses or busy professionals or retired athletes because you need to be able to twist, put your twist on it show how your individual uh, twist on it appeals to your audience as opposed to the other audience. But the first thing that you have to get a good grip on is what you're selling and where the people are hanging out who are buying what you're selling. I'm going to wrap that up for today. And if you like what I had to say, I'd like to encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave me a thumbs up and some comments down below. And of course, check out the links that I've got below. If you like where I hang out uh, and, and what I have to say, you might like what I'm doing. You have a great day and we'll see you next time online.